All right, guys, make sure you get a foam roller. Make sure you get a mini band tonight's session. Um, we are going to uh, do some similar movements. We're going to do some single leg work. We're going to finish off with a bit of a core burnout and then some cardio as well to finish off. So um, we'll do some skipping at the end. If you've got a skipping rope, if not, you can do it without a skipping rope inside. Um, and we will also be doing some reactive stuff. So make sure you've got a couple of cones or markers nearby as well. We'll get started with our mobility. All right, so I'm back here. Back here with my foam roller. You guys can use a couch or whatever you want to use as a guide. You know our uh, Achilles loosener. Getting that tendon nice and loose muscles of our calf. We're down a lunge. Down a lunge position. Okay, our feet, feet are about, or toes about 10 centimeters back from our wall or whatever we're using as a guide. And we're just keeping that heel down, bringing that knee towards the foam roller. Really good exercise. Yeah. Oh. For warming up that, that lower calf muscle, soleus, and your Achilles. Once you've done about five on either leg, swap it across. Apply a little bit of, oh, Luna's just tossing the ball. You can apply a little bit of pressure with your hands. If you, want to, if you want to try and get a little bit more range of motion in that, in that Achilles. Uh, once we've done that, foam roll off to the side. Well, we're going to come into our, our deep squat, our deep Spider-Man squat for mobility. So we're getting, we hinge at the hips. Uh, we hinge at the hips here. Come all the way down, get our hands, get our finger underneath our toes, fingers under toes. All right, sit back down into a deep squat here. All right, so sit right back down into a deep squat. All right, I'm just going to get comfortable in this position, making sure my muscles are staying activated. Okay, so I can feel my hip flexors, I can feel my glutes on either side. I've got elbows into the side of my knees, on the insides of my knees. And I'm just applying a little bit of pressure with my elbows and pressing against it with my knees. Uh, it's gonna help really just create some frictional force and warm up our hips a little bit. All right, so we're pressing our knees against our elbows and our elbows back against our knees. From there, from there we're gonna go left hand, sorry, right hand, left hand, oh, no, no, left hand stays. Okay, and we're gonna turn and rotate to our right. Okay, looking up at our hand, a couple of big deep breaths. Help open up those muscles of our lower back, come back down, hook our right hand under our right feet, and we're gonna go to the left hand side. So again, we're rotating, twisting, and looking up. Big deep breaths. And back down we come. All right, we come from that position, we stand straight up, and hinge at the hips. All right, grab your mini band, we're going into our band work now. So we've got band around our ankles. We're going to have crab walks. Crab walks, we're going five. I'm going to go five this way, five back. So we're going 10 total, do two sets. Make sure we're bending our knees, staying down nice and low, hips bent, knees bent, five to our right and five back to our left here. We're gonna do two sets of that total. Make sure you're bending your knees, staying down nice and low in a defensive stance. All right, it's gonna activate our glutes a little bit more. Good job. You can go arms wide as you like to really make it like a defensive stance. Good job. All right, keeping our band on, we've got our jab steps. We're going 10 right, 10 left. So jab 10 right, pushing off, staying low. 10 to our right. Don't let the band just fling your feet back in. You gotta control that foot back to meet the other foot. Ripping from hip to hip with our imaginary ball here. And then we're going left foot. Same thing, left foot, step out. Strong, rip the ball across your hip, 
Rick, Rick, good job. Good job. Once we've done 10 on either leg, now we're going on our kickback, so we really warm up our glutes here. Okay, we've got our kickback, so we're there. Kicking back. Ten on either leg. So ten right, ten left. So come all the way back from the ball of that foot, squeezing that glute. So I've got my right leg back now, I'm squeezing that right glute. And we want to do the same on our left leg. We're pushing that left foot back as if we're going to take off. We're working against the resistance of the band. We're not letting it fling our leg back like that. Okay, we're controlling the band back. Jared, you have you frozen. I've oh, frozen. All right. There we go. It's better. Am I back? Yeah. All uh, right, I'm back, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Sorry, I uh, I had to turn on my Wi-Fi. Sometimes when I go outside with the iPad, I forget it's on uh, 4G, not on Wi-Fi. Okay, so, sorry. We've done our band work. Now we're into our lateral lunge. Okay, so really the aim of this session tonight is to get really comfortable putting our full body weight, shifting it from one side of our body. Okay, so sitting into one leg and coming back off. Okay, same thing with the single leg deadlifts. Um, and then we're gonna finish off with a core exercise. So we always dial in a little bit more on the form of these lateral lunges and single leg deadlifts. Cause I feel like they're a really important lower body strength exercise for us to hone in on. If we can we come back to the stadium when we come back and we're really proficient in these two movements. Okay, and we're able to do these with really, really good form. That's gonna put us in a pretty good position to be ready to play, okay? So for those that are new tonight, our lateral lunge, I'm gonna start, I'm stepping out to my right to begin with, okay? So I'm gonna step out to my right, not too far, okay? I just wanna step out a nice long step, all right? I can have my toe pointing at a bit of a 45 degree angle that way, or I can have it pointing straight at the camera. It's up to you guys, everyone's hip anatomy is different. You're gonna to have to play around with it a little bit and figure out what works for you. I go on a slight angle, okay? And then I'm gonna sit my weight into this right leg, okay? So I'm gonna shift all my way across, and I've got to make sure that I bend my hip as well. So from the side, what it looks like is I step out and I sit back and it looks like I'm doing a, a single leg, almost like a single leg squat. All right, well, what I'm actually doing is I'm shifting my weight across and I'm coming up onto the heel of my left foot. Okay, so I'm sitting my hips back and I'm pushing back up and feet together. All right, then I'm stepping out and I'm doing the same thing again, all right? We're gonna do, we're gonna overload it a little bit tonight. I need to change my camera so I can see you all. We're gonna overload it a little bit. We're gonna do 10 on either leg. We're gonna do three sets. I'm gonna do the first set with you, okay? I'm gonna do the first set with you and then I'm gonna to come to the camera and have a look and see how your form is. So again, I'll do one more from front on, okay? So I step wide and I sit into that right hip, all right? As if I'm trying to sit on an imaginary chair to my right and I press up, okay? We want this movement here as we step out, we want that to be nice and slow as we sit down on our imaginary chair and then we push up explosively, bring our feet together. All right, let's do 10 on either leg. Okay, 
Stepping out, let's do 10. Should get a nice stretch in this uh, non-dominant, okay, the leg that's staying straight. So right now, if we're stepping to our right, that's our left leg. Don't have your hands on this knee either. Have your hands up here at the front or you can have them forward as a bit of a counterbalance. Make sure each time you do this, you're stepping out. So don't just sit here and do this. We're not just shifting side to side like this. Step feet back together, okay? Because we're simulating actually pushing off here. Like we're changing direction. So imagine like I've done a Euro step and I'm pushing back up, all right? So 10 on either leg. All right, I'm gonna go to my left side now. I step to my left, sit down into that imaginary chair. I come up onto my right heel now. My left leg's doing all the work and I'm exploding back up. Um, do we do it three times, like 10 set, 10, three sets of 10? Yep, so you're gonna do three sets of 10. Okay, okay. so there's no way known you should be finished, Zach. Okay, there should be absolutely no way known you should be finished. Three sets, you should have 30 seconds in between each set minimum, okay? Because we're not doing one set of 30, we're doing three sets of 10. And if you're finished, you're doing them too quick because you're meant to be going down slowly. So again, we're all about quality, not necessarily quantity in these sessions, okay? Quality reps, so I sit down low and I can even hold here for a second and I push back up, okay? Sit out nice and wide, push back up. That's my first set done. You guys have a breather. I'm gonna to come to the camera and watch your second and third sets if you're still going. Good read. Oh, you did one set. All right, do your second set, Zach, good job. That's Sienna and she, you guys look like a dance troupe. That's good, well done. Just, just slow that movement down when you step out and sit back into that squat. Yeah? Yep. Just slow it down just a little bit. Slow it down a bit, Zach. Good read. Good job, Sarah. Good job, Amber. Good to see you, Amber. Hey, Amber. Good job. So we're sitting into that. Good. Make sure that off leg stays straight there, Amber. So you bring it. Yep, that's better. You're coming up onto that heel a little bit. That's really good. Good job, guys. Keep working. Good job, Alex. Good job, Cam. Yeah. So Matt, Cam, even Zach a little bit, even the girls, even Sienna. Okay, what I'm seeing, just a little critique for your third set to work on, is right now we're, we're bringing that knee a little bit too far forward. Okay, so if I was to come to my side arm here, and you guys have a look at the screen. I, as I step out here, okay, you guys are going really forward like that. Okay, so you see how my back is staying, like I'm staying pretty upright, yeah, I'm pretty up and down, and that knee is coming forward and then I'm just pushing back up, okay? What we're actually looking for here is it's a single leg, like a lateral squat. So we really want a hip hinge as well. Okay, so I want you to stick your butt back a little bit. All right, so I want you to, so when I say, that's what I mean when I say sit into your hip, okay? So sit into your hip, imagine there's a chair here. Okay, there's a chair here, just like we would when we're doing our, our normal squat, except you've stepped out laterally. So you've shifted your weight all to one side, okay? shifted our weight to the right now and I'm still sitting my hip back trying to imagining like I'm still trying to touch my butt on a chair or something like that. That's just going to get us that really really good glute activation that we're looking for in this movement. Good job guys. So sit a bit deeper into that hip. Yep that's good. Good Matty. Good Matty Polglaze. Good job. Good better guys, good. Hands should be out of your jumper, Zach. Yeah, hands should be forward as a counterbalance, not tucked into your jumper, you fall over, you're in strife. Good job. Uh, good job guys, that's good. Most of us done three sets now. Give us a thumbs up if you're three sets. Good, Sienna, Sarah, yep, perfect. All right, so next one, you know, is one of my favorites, single leg dead. Grab a quick drink while I explain the next exercise. So single leg dead, single leg, single leg arabesque. All right, 
So what that looks like again, remember I like to start on my right leg, which means I'm bringing my left knee up, okay? So I'm on my right leg here, and I'm kicking my left leg back as I swing through and I bring my upper body as low as I can, but no lower than parallel to the ground, all right? So it's a bit of a balancing act, all right? If I'm on my right knee, I wanna have a soft knee. So what I mean by that is, my knee's not locked in, okay? So it's not locked straight like that, right? It's just soft, so just a soft bend. Okay, I don't have to bend all the way down nice and low, but just a soft bend. So I, I like to start with my left knee up, okay? If I'm on my right foot, and basically as my upper body shifts forward, my leg shifts back and out behind me, okay? I should feel a bit of a stretch in this, in this hamstring. So whichever leg is on the ground, that hamstring, I should feel a bit of a stretch. And then I want to swing through and up and finish with my knee up like that. All right, big things I'm looking for here. You guys can start, we're gonna do three sets of six on either leg. Big things I'm looking for is that off leg. So whichever leg is up in the air, stays active the whole time. What I mean by that is, it goes from upright here to swing through, so it's active, active, active. And then I'm keeping it nice and straight and active. And that left glute right now is firing for me. Okay, so I don't want to see legs dangling like that. Okay, if I see legs dangling like that, we're only doing half the exercise, if that. Because it puts me into a really strange rounded back position. So, instead of having like a, a nice straight back here, this leg dangling, I can feel that putting pressure on my lower back. So I want to squeeze that left leg and keep that left leg up and straight. I keep that glute active. It's going to be a bit of hard work, but I need you to fight that. Fight that and keep that leg straight. Right, here we go. Six on either leg. Have a, have a 30 second break. Six on each leg. Have a 30 second break. Challenge your balance. Okay, if you want an extra challenge, you can go arms forward like Superman, arms wide like a bird. Up to you. Mix it up. This is a really good catch them all exercise. It gives us a bit of a core activation. It's obviously working our hamstrings and our glutes on both legs as well, but it's working our balance. Balance is going to be a big thing we're missing out on by not actually being in the stadium and playing right now. So that balance that you get, you're constantly moving, changing legs. That's why we're putting such a focus on single leg exercises right now on, on this Thursday session. So I'm on my left leg now, so I'm kicking right leg back. Swing right leg through. And up. I like to finish this movement just to make it a little bit more sport specific, a little bit more active. So I finish with a knee drive because it's similar to like a layup movement. So I start with the knee drive. Gets me in a good range of motion as well. Okay, oh, gets me in a good range of motion, driving that knee all the way through. So once you've done your first set, oh, that one's a shocking. Have a breather, grab a drink, and get stuck into your second set. Oh no. Good work, guys. I'm gonna come watch your second and third set. Tighten your core, focus on something, one point on the ground to control your balance. Good job, Amber. You girls are really in unison there, Sienna. You're doing well. Good job, Maddie. Form's really good. So, poor girls, just make sure you're not just swinging your legs back and forth like a leg swing warm up. Okay? We wanna, we wanna understand that what muscles are working and when, does that make sense? So you come forward, you should feel some tightness in your hamstring, you're tensing that glute that's up off the ground, and then you come through and swing that knee up like a layup, okay? Don't just sort of swing there side to side, okay? But that was good. I don't mind you guys using each other as balance. I think that's awesome. Um, our last name is pronounced Pow. Oh, is it Pow? Sorry. Yeah, oh, <laughs> everybody <Pow>. says <laughs> Pow, sorry. I've been saying poor this whole time, those poor girls. 
Keep working, guys. Good job. Don't rush these movements. Good job, Sarah. That's perfect form. Good range of motion. Don't rush these movements. These are, these are, these are finer, detailed type of movements. Good work. If you've done your three sets, grab a quick drink. We've got one more core exercise we're going to do. Good job, Zach. If you've got any weight, okay, this is an exercise we generally do with a bit of weight. Um, if you are outdoors, Amber, uh, I think there's a couple of you guys outside. Good, good read. Um, you may need a mat or something. We're going to come to the ground. Um, so we're going to do a Russian twist to finish off our strength portion of our session. And then we're going to go into a little bit of cardio to finish off, just to get our heart rate up. Finish off with some skipping uh, and some reactive defensive slide stuff to get our heart rate up a little bit. Good job, guys. Grab a drink if you finish your three sets. If you're outdoors or if you're on hard floor, wood floors or something, grab a mat because we're going to be down on the ground for this next one. If you've got a weight, okay, if you've got a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a dead ball, I've got a dead ball here that I'm going to use, that's okay. Grab it, okay? Grab it if you want to for this core exercise, even if you just want to use a drink bottle, okay? If you want to use something, all right? Because we're going, we're, go, we're doing a Russian twist. So I'm going to show you what that is. So Russian twist, we come down to our butts. Okay, I'm going to show you front on to start with. You will have done, you've probably done some form of this before, uh, or you will have seen it before, or it'll look fairly common. Uh, Basically, we're going to stay on our bums, okay? Our knees can be bent, okay? You can wrap your ankles over if you like. Uh, I like to have my feet unlocked. You can lock your feet if you want to. I don't mind. Um, obviously, my upper body is going to be off the ground, so it's really just our bums that's on the carpet or, or on the mat. I've got my weight, okay? But you can do this just with clenched, clenched fists. It doesn't really matter, all right? Up to you entirely. And we are from here. We've got legs off the ground and we're rotating side to side. So I'm tapping my weight. You guys might be tapping your fists. We're gonna do, so we're gonna start off with, we're gonna build it up. We're gonna go 10, okay? So 10, when I say 10, I mean one, okay? So touch on either side is one, okay? Then we're gonna go 20, and then we're gonna go 30. Then we're gonna go back down, 20, 10, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna challenge you a little bit. We're gonna have about 20 seconds in between and then we're gonna finish off with some cardio. All right, so we're working our core muscles here. Make sure you control your breathing. Uh, if you need a break, if you feel like your lower back's starting to hurt or you feel like you're starting to fatigue too much in the core, bring your legs to the ground, okay? You can even drop your legs to the ground and keep going with the rotational movements, all right? Or alternatively, you can just stop for a second and have a break. Okay, so we're going 10, 20, 30, all right? So we'll go 10, we'll have a quick break, 20, quick break, 30, quick break, and then we come back down the ladder, all right? Here we go for 10. If you've got a drink bottle or a weight, pick it up now. Here we go, feet off the ground, and here we go. Side to side, there's one, two, three, four, feet off the ground, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay? Bring your feet to the ground. We've got about 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds rest. That one's nice and easy. Then we go 20, we go 30, we go back down. So see how we go next time you do 10. All right, grab your weight. This time we're going 20. So we're going double that. I'm gonna to start to my left. So I'm gonna to finish to my right. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. And 12, 13, 14, 15, five more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Quick breather, we got 30, and then we're going back down the ladder. Good job, guys. 
Så er de her. All right, grab your weight, grab your drink bottle, whatever you're using or your hands, get ready. Move back a little bit. Feet off the ground, here we go for 30. This is a tough one, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, control your breathing, nine, 10, 11, 12, keep working, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 to go, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, keep going, 5 more, 6, 7, 8, 2 more, 3, 9, and 30, Woo. good work. Good job. Now we're going back down. Give yourself a breather. We're going 20 and then 10. Should be feeling this obliques. It's down the side of your core. Make sure when we rotate, we're getting a full rotation. You're following your hands a little bit as well. Uh, to make it a little bit harder. Again, if you've got a weight, you don't have to use it. You can use it for the first couple. Then you can put it down. Good work. Uh, here we go. 20 now. 20 of the best. We're nearly there. Pick up your weight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. 10, halfway. 12, 13, 14, 15, 5 to go, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Woo. Quick breather. Good job, Reed. Punch it out. See you work in there. Go 10 to go. 10 to go, and then we're up in just into a little bit of heart rate stuff to finish off. Hopefully you've got some cones or markers. We're just going to jump straight into some change of direction stuff. Straight into some reactive stuff. So some closeouts some D slides. Same stuff we did last week. And uh, you'll be fine. I think you've been doing similar stuff with the uh, SDP, MPP kids. Probably even more fancy stuff. All right. Here we go for 10. Let's finish this off. Finish this off and then we're up. We'll get our cones. We'll go into some cardio. Here we go. Legs up. Let's go for 10. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And 10. Good job. Woo. Great work. Well done. Get a drink if you need it. Get a drink if you need it, if it's nearby. Whew, no one could see it. That's actually a hundred kilo dead ball that I was doing that with then, just in case anyone was wondering. You can see Matty Austin in the background there. I reckon he thinks that was, yeah, there's definitely a hundred. That was a hundred. Boom, boom. Yeah, thumbs up, Reed. Good job. Yep, thumbs up. I agree, Reed. You're the man, Jared. Good job, Reed. <laughs> All right, let's grab our cones, let's finish off. Let's get our heart rates up here. Double thumbs down, oh no. Uh, I don't have a heap of space tonight. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able I'm gonna do the best job I can. My lovely girlfriend over here is doing a flat pack. She's got her headphones in, so she doesn't know that I've put her on the camera, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> 100 grams, yeah. 100 grams, Matty P, call me out. But so, for you guys that have space, if you're outdoors, perfect. If you're indoors, you've got plenty of space. This is the middle, okay? So start in the middle of your camera. We want to cone probably two meters, ideally two meters to your left. Okay, so we can take two big steps. Okay, I've only got one step in me, okay? So I'm just gonna be a very shortened course here. Uh, we want to make a triangle, 
essentially, with you guys at the base of the triangle in the middle of the base. And again, you want two big steps forward and you're gonna put another cone at the top of the pyramid there. All right, so we did this last week and the week before. You guys know what it is. We're reacting, okay? So we give each cone, we give each cone a number, all right? We give each cone a number, and that means that's the cone you've got to get to. All right, we're doing four sets of 30 seconds here. So to demonstrate, let's, let's mix it up a little bit tonight, okay? Um, let's give, uh, let's give the cones, uh, let's give the cones names. Someone suggest a couple of names. Suggest a couple of NBA, WNBA players. Turn on your microphone or type it in, I don't mind. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, all right. So let's make this top cone here is Kawhi Leonard. Okay, so when we close out, we've got to, we've got to close out at the top here is Kawhi Leonard. Give me a girl, give me an Opals player, or give me a WNBA player. Don't say Magbagor. I'm going to stuff that up every time, but you can say Izzy if you want. All right, Ben, ben Simmons is the other one. Let's get a girl. Someone give me a girl. Liz Cambridge. Liz Cambridge, all right, I like it. So we've got Kawhi at the top here. So this is Kawhi Leonard, all right? If I just say Kawhi, or if I say Kawhi Leonard, our top cone that we're closing out, Ben Simmons is on our left, okay? So for Ben, we're just sliding and touching, okay? So we're not just sliding our foot. You gotta bend your knees, get down low, touch the cone, and we've got Liz Cambridge on our right, okay? So if I say Liz, slide, get your foot outside the cone, bend down, crouch down, and touch, all right? So Kawhi is a closeout, pitter patter closeout, proper closeout. Back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, always come back to the middle, always reset. Okay, so if I say Kawhi and Ben, you've got to close out to Kawhi. Okay, then we've got to back pedal, back pedal, back pedal to the middle, and then slide to Ben. Back to the middle. Okay, and in between each, we're staying in a pitter paddle. All right, so we're staying down low, knees bent, arms wide. We've got 30 seconds. I'm going to call out some combos, going to keep it pretty simple for the first set, and then I'll start to mix it up. Are we ready to go? All right, everyone pitter patter. Everyone in the middle now, pitter patter. Down in the stands, pitter patter. Good, let's go, Liz. So you should be to your right and back. Good job. Pitter patter, stay low, stay in a defensive stance. Kawhi. Close out and pitter patter. Good, good. Here we go. Kawhi, Ben. So we've got a combo, there's our first combo. Close out, back pedal, slide to Ben and stay low and pitter patter, good. Liz, Ben. We're across to Liz, good, good, good. Stay low, pitter patter, keep your heart rate up. Stay low, pitter patter. Here we go, Liz, Kawhi. So we're sliding across, come back to the middle. Nah, Zach, make sure you come back to the middle. So every time, always come back to the middle. We've got the last one. Here we go, Liz, Kawhi. So slide and touch. Come back to the middle and then close out and come back. Good job. All right, rest. Rest. All right, you got 20 seconds rest. We're going three more sets of that. If you're not, if you're not huffing and puffing a little bit by the end of this, I'll be disappointed. You've got to challenge yourself a bit more. Okay, ways you can do that if you feel like it's too easy is get lower. Okay, get lower in your stance. Okay, pit a pat as fast as you possibly can. As with all this stuff, guys, I'm not there with you. So you got to, you guys are in charge of pushing yourselves. Okay, you're only competing against yourselves. Here we go, everyone up. Everyone up and in position, bottom of our pyramid, ready to go. Pitter patter, down on the stance, let's go. Pitter patter, down on the stance, good job. Kawhi, Liz, close out. Pitter patter, good, and off to your right, good, good. Stay low, bend your knees. Stay low in a defensive stance, pitter patter. Let's go, Matty Polglaze, you can go faster. Ben, Kawhi. So slide, come back to the middle, close out front, sprint front, good job. Make sure you pitter patter and close out properly. Here we go. Here we go, Kawhi Liz. Kawhi Liz, so close out at the front. Come on, Amber, that's you just lunging at me here. Come on, get all the way up there, close out. Kawhi's a good shooter. That's not Ben at the top there. Here we go, Kawhi Liz, finish off. Here we go, Kawhi Liz, get a proper close out, get back and get to Liz and back to the middle and have a breather, good job. Have a break, have a break, have a break. Come out of your stance, shake it out. Two to go. Good work, guys. Good work. So we've got a, uh, we've got a foot, footwork ball handling skill session tomorrow night uh, with Tommy Garrett, 
tomorrow morning we're with Kira Rowe. Tomorrow morning, Kira Rowe is going to take our body and mind for some uh, for some Pilates and 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 uh, maybe some meditative stuff. Kira's going to put us through. She's in hotel quarantine in Sydney right now, so that'll be really interesting. All right, everyone up. Here we go. Third set. Third set. Everyone jump up. Ready to go. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. We'll start when I can see everyone. Everyone that's got their camera anyway. Pitter patter. Here we go. Arms wide. Bend. Good. Get there quickly. Pitter patter. Kawhi. Good. Get forward. Arms high. Arms high. You're closing out to a shooter. Pitter patter. Stay low though. Bend your knees. Good job. Good job. Liz. Good, we're just going singles. I want quick reactions here. Good job. Liz Kawhi. Let's go. Three more. Liz Kawhi. Three more. Liz Kawhi. Quick, quick, quick. React. Good job. Kawhi Ben. Good. We close out. Close out. Come back. Slide. Good job. Last one. Here we go. Work, work, work. Liz Ben. So across. Come to the middle and across. Good job. All right. Have a breather. Last set. You're doing really well. Last set. There's about four minutes of pretty intense work. So make sure you, you're getting your heart rate up a little bit. Here we go. 10 more seconds and we're straight into it. So don't sit down, grab a quick drink, stay up. All right, three. Come on, Zach, get your arms in. Two. One. Here we go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Here we go. Kawhi. Go, 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 go. Kawhi. Close out and come back. Good job. Good job. Liz, here we go. We're going to move now. They're going to be quick. D slides. Here we go. Ben. Get going, get going, get going. Good, good. Liz, Ben. Liz, Ben. Go, 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 go. Slide. Close out, Kawhi. No, close out, Kawhi. Oh, it was Ben. Sorry. Yeah, go, Kawhi. Kawhi, Kawhi. Go, Kawhi again. Here we go. <laughs> go, go, go. Rapid fire. Liz, Liz, get there. Good, good. Stay low. Two more. Kawhi, Ben. Kawhi, Ben. Close out. Close out. Get back to Ben. Good job. Good job. Good job. Kawhi, Liz. Good, and slide and finish off. Good job, guys. Well done. Stand up straight, shake it out. Really good work. Really good work. Stop watches stopped and we're done. Well done, guys. Hey, if you want to do a quick warm down with me, you're welcome. Bit of foam rolling and a bit of a stretch. If you need to go, go. We're at 30, 35 minutes just on, just after, uh, just after 6.30. If you've got to go inside and go have dinner uh, or get going, please do. Don't forget, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, Body and Mind with Kira Rowe, WNBL player. Uh, she's a ripper. She's a Pilates instructor. She's going to take the session for us. So quick foam roll if those are sticking around. Glutes, always glutes, always glutes. So right leg is up. Right leg is up here on my roller. Right leg is up on my left knee. Five back and forth, deep breathing. Left leg, left ankle is up on my right knee now. Again, big deep breaths. Slow the heart rate down, always cool down properly. Fast track your recovery. Let's, uh, let's jump straight to our calves. Straight through our cars. I like to stack my feet on top of each other. You guys can do what you like. You can do one leg at a time, two, both legs at the same time. It's up to you. I like to stack my ankles on top of each other, put a little bit more pressure on one calf at a time. And other side. Good job. Good job. Finish off with a little bit of dynamic stretching. So again, if you've got something to lean on, we might just go some leg swings. Five forward and back. Luna's, Luna's done, she's ready to play. Five forward and back on either leg. Just get the blood moving a little bit. Five forward and back on either leg. And let's go across our body. Across our body. Five on the way. Turn that on. Kick out. I don't want to kick out. I don't want to kick out. Five on either leg. 
Once we've done that, we know we've got calf pumps, so I'm going to do them against the wall here. Both legs back, and we're just bending one knee and then the other. So we're just getting the blood flow through those calves a little bit. Okay, if you want to hold the stretch a bit more and just push back on one, you can, and you can do our ankle mobility again that we did at the start of the session in reverse if you like. Otherwise, guys, we are done. Great job. Way to work hard tonight. Um, again, we've got our two sessions tomorrow, and then we're having a break for a couple of weeks with the blue stuff. So, um, yeah, stay tuned because we've got some stuff starting up in term four, but enjoy the sessions tomorrow, uh, and we will be back after the school holiday break. Give, give Zoom a bit of a break for a while after... Uh, <laughs> after tomorrow and I'm sure you guys can use a bit of a break. Read some books and do some different stuff, get outside hopefully in some good weather and then we'll be back with some sessions uh, via Zoom and things like that after the break. So great job guys. Bye. I'll Thank see you, you next time. No worries. Thank you. See you guys. See you Maddie. Good job.